I'm Kevin Barrett. I'm a vascular neurologist at Mayo Clinic in Florida. And one of the things that I wanted to share with you today is the fact that stroke is the third leading cause of death in the United States. Stroke is a major problem. It's largely preventable. And for those who do have stroke, they're often left with permanent disability. So I just want to share with you what we know about stroke the common symptoms so that you can recognize them and also share with you the available treatments that we have for stroke. These are important to recognize. They're important for you and also your family because often stroke can affect your ability to speak, your language, your ability to express yourself. If that were to occur, family members, friends would also have to be aware of common stroke symptoms so that rescue or 911 could be used to help bring you to a local stroke center for urgent treatment. The common concept for stroke symptoms is indeed the way in which they occur. Stroke symptoms occur abruptly. They start suddenly without warning. Stroke is actually derived from an old Greek word that means to be struck down. So something that comes on abruptly and affects neurologic function can often be the result of stroke. The common neurologic functions that stroke affects are vision. Somebody who loses vision suddenly in one or both eyes could be having a stroke. Somebody who suddenly loses their ability to speak or express themselves and also sudden loss of strength on one side of the body or sudden loss of feeling. All of these should prompt a call immediately to 911. We have treatments for stroke, but we need to see people shortly after symptom onset. Clot busting medications are one of our fundamental stroke therapies. These can be administered safely within four and a half hours of stroke onset, but the earlier the better. So we caution people if they're having stroke symptoms to not wait an hour to see if they get better or go away on their own. Immediately at the time of onset, we need to see people in the emergency department so that we can safely offer stroke therapies. And they work. Patients can get better quickly with clot busting medications like TPA. Some patients will have stroke syndromes that are best managed with catheter-based therapies. So we have teams of highly trained neurosurgeons and interventional radiologists who can provide stroke therapies from within the blood vessel. So not only can we give medications by vein to treat stroke, we can also administer clot-busting medications and also devices that can help restore blood flow to blocked brain arteries. The majority of strokes are indeed caused by an interruption of blood flow to the brain, but in a small proportion, maybe 15% of stroke, it's due to bleeding within the brain. That also requires urgent care, and we have treatments for bleeding types of strokes. Some people have an, a brain aneurysm that ruptures, and in those cases, there are surgical and endovascular treatments that can be used to treat an aneurysm. Other kinds of bleeding can be treated with reversal of blood thinning when they're related to medications like Coumadin, and we also have other surgical treatments for hemorrhagic stroke. The key to effective stroke therapy is to be seen in a stroke center as quickly as possible. All of our treatments for stroke are time sensitive and the earlier we treat people, the better the outcome. That's the bottom line.